Good morning, ESM. My name is Josh. And my name is Emily. Many people will be happy to hear today. Today is National Cheese Lovers Day. We'll get into things after news and announcements. A man in this patrol car attempting a U-turn was struck by another vehicle on Green Lakes Road Wednesday around 12.09 p.m. Two officers were traveling westbound on Green Lakes Road when they saw a car speeding on the eastbound side of the road. The officers turned on their patrol but on their patrol car lights and sirens before trying to follow the car by taking a U-turn. While they were turning, a car driving behind them crashed into the patrol car. The driver of the car, a woman around 60 years of age, suffered chest pain from the accident. She told the police she did not know the police car was attempting a turn and she admitted that she was on her phone during the time of the crash. The woman refused medical transport at at the scene despite her reported injuries. The two officers in the patrol car were evaluated at the scene. They were not seriously injured and no tickets have been issued at this time. Local restaurant in Syracuse, Luna Loca, recently announced its closing. Ryan and Leigh Ann Benz, owner of Luca Loca, are also owners of the popular restaurant Oh My, Dar oh My Darling in Syracuse. Ryan said that one of the main reasons for the close was industry challenges. Some of these challenges include new mask and vaccination orders, supply chain delays, and increasing commodity prices. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The following mask protocols for all lunch periods are to be implemented in all school buildings. Students should keep their mask on while entering the lunch periods and ordering their lunch. Once seated, students should remove their masks while eating. When students are finished eating, they should put their masks back on during the remainder of the lunch period. Constant adhere to these protocols is essential to maintaining a safe and healthy school environment for these students and, and school staff. Yoga Club is back at it today after, after school in the library. Please join us, wear comfortable clothes, and bring a friend. Mats and other props will be provided. We can't wait to see you. Namaste. Though it's difficult to find the exact time cheese was created, the earliest it was discovered was 5,500 5, BCE in Poland. Today, there are over 1,400 different kinds of cheese. Cheese is created by curding milk, Bacteria is then added to convert the lactose into lactic acid after then an enzyme called rennet or rene, sorry, is added to curdle the milk. Once curdled, a protein called whey is drained out of the mixture. Salt is then added to the cheese and is left to sit in age. Different animal milks, which animals were fed aging times, and bacteria of all factor into what kind of cheese you're looking to make. Hey Josh, what is your favorite kind of cheese? Oh, we gotta go with some of the cheddar. Get some of that in there. <laughs> My favorite kind is brie. After weather, we'll have a cheese board. We'd love to share it with you. Today we will have a high of 18 with a few snow showers. Tomorrow there is a possible chance of a snow day with a low of negative 6 degrees. Saturday will warm up into the 20s and be mostly sunny. The rest of the week is looking to be pretty snowy. All right, so we have the charcuterie board right here, and we're going to try some of these cheeses and describe their taste. You want to go first? Oh, why not? We're going to try some of the, whatever this cheese is. Let me get a little bit of that. Oh, we have some bread, too. I'll give that one a 9 out of 10. What's it taste like? Cheese. <laughs> really? Is it, like, creamy? She's got some, it's a little creamy, a little soft. Okay, I'm going to try taste buds. this weird looking block that Josh said was sitting in the back of his fridge. It's only been in there for about a few months, so oh. it should be fine. Better the aging time. Oh, it's um, it's, 
Great. What is this, the Gouda? A little bit of Gouda in there. I don't know where to put this. It's on the back. You're going to eat that little piece of cheese. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> it's uh, not my flavor. Oh. Um. Did you eat like a whole piece of brie? <laughs> Yeah, this, this one right here is brie. I'm going to try some orange cheddar. That's we also have white cheddar. That's horrific. You don't like brie? It's an acquired taste. <laughs> well, we got to get some of this out of here. <laughs> I love cheddar. Cheddar is like probably my second favorite. <laughs> All right. I'm not doing so hot with that brie. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to sports. Last night, the girls' volleyball team beat VVS in four sets to improve to a 10-2 record. Margaret Madden had 15 kills. Nat Natalie Peterson had 29 assists, and Morgan Ransom had, and Lauren Sitnik both had 14 dicks. The boys' basketball team lost to Cortland 52-50. Tristan Anderson led the team with 13 points, and both Cole Thomas and Aiden Betts contributed 12 points each. The girls' basketball lost to Cortland 73-33. Ariana Jones led the team with nine points. In upcoming games, the boys and the girls' bowling team have a match at home against Cortland at 3.30. And the girls' volleyball team has a game against v CVA at 7. I'm Leah with your sports. Even if you're lactose intolerant, we hope you enjoyed the show and hope you have a good day.